tonight's edition of the Triple Thrash Treat. And continuing in brutal mode, Dutch metalers Pestilence have just unleashed their new album on the world, proving once again that they've developed far beyond the confining boundaries of the death metal genre. The band were formed back in 1986 as the brainchild of guitarist Patrick Mamaley. By their third album, Pestilence had gained a reputation as being one of the heaviest death metal acts of all time. However, by 1991, Mamaley felt that Pestilence had gone as far as it could through sheer brutality and decided to head off in a new direction. Testimony of the Ancients saw the band developing new techniques and finesse to create atmosphere and mood, rather than going for the kill in typical death metal style. Now in 1993, Pestilence are back with Spears, an album that sees them progressing in a more technical and jazz orientated direction and dismissing their death metal style albums as a product of adolescence. The change already came with the testimony. We really saw that things were going in the wrong direction for us. You know, um, as Marco said, you know, you start to um, you start to listen to different types of forms of music, and you find out that those people are so much better than you. You know, and and that is what is important for us. It's not playing brutal or something because playing death metal is not really the most you know difficult form of music. You know, anybody can play death metal. You know, you see festivals with 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 loads of bands doing that stuff. You know. So, um, um, and you can, but you can't say that Spears is a, is, a, is a jazz or fusion album or something, or that we wimped out and we totally jazz or something. We just incorporated, you know, some other styles in that, you know? different direction after um, the testimony album came out. Uh, we toured um, the States, we toured Europe, and we were really not happy with uh, the way the, the scene was, and people are reacting to the music and everything. It's just like, it's just like a, it's for us now, look, looking back on it, it's like really a childish, immature thing that we did, you know, just testimony, everything, and, and still with that, the, the the dark sides of life and everything you know it's just so cheese really to, to sing about those things it's like you need to be um, you need to put your creativity into mo a more positive way you know Thank you. 
this new new style with spheres that we came up with um, has a lot of has a lot of guitar synth in it. And a uh, guitar synthesizer is a device that you can put on your guitar and make your guitar sound like a keyboard, violin, or everything, or 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 anything. Yeah, yeah. drums, everything. You can do everything with it. Um, what we do, what we found is that we kind of more of a uh, a, a, a band that feels comfortable in the studio instead of being uh, instead of playing live because live there's always something wrong with the sound or with that or whatever you know stage divers so you can't really concentrate that well on your on your stuff but we're really trying to uh, you know using the uh, guitar synth or whatever to to make it you know sound like how it is on the album because we want to be as true as possible and show that, that we're really able to you know play our instruments <laughs> jazz or classical that people um, they're like right away oh so this album sounds classical or this album is album is jazz so you wimped out so we don't like it anymore you know but it's really it, it, it's really time now for for because you see it also in death metal P bands are changing bands want to try something else you know you can't please everybody you know <laughs> Death Stars Gorefest have 